What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. If you checked out my last video, Spearing Giant Sheep's Head in California, you've already seen where we're at right now. This is a whole new video though, full of a whole bunch of new surprises. Come here and let us see that new fly rod. Right. You know we've never shown any fly fishing on this channel. We're about to. We got an eight weight that we got an island marauder with my mom at, uh, what's the place called? Um, Sportsman. Sp Worldwide Sportsman. Yeah. It's a cheeky reel. Not sponsored, by the way. But. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way, huh? Are you shouting out cheeky and hoping in for sponsorship? Mm hmm. We got a little bit of shot cord wire for Barracuda. I got my Barracuda fly. Look how shiny that is. That thing's nice. I think we'll put it to work this week. What do you think? I think we will. Jake, I think that channel right on the other side of the boat, how that current's ripping around this point, mm -hmm. might be a smart place to cast. It's so hot out here right now. We're not in the wind, and holy moly. Here, look. Here's an old shell. I found it on the sea glass. Yep, make sure you don't step on any. There's another piece right there. Ooh. Yeah, walk around it. Don't get cut by it. That's probably an old pirate. You know what that is? A pirate probably crashed here one day and was drinking rum, and that's his old rum bottle. Yeah, they had glass back then. So, Nick, we got some fresh water for you to drink in the boat. So just to give you an idea how windy it is, I'm walking out from behind the mangroves right now. Whole different ball game on this side of the island, boys. Y'all see my power poles on the back of this boat? Let me get over here closer. That's the only thing holding this boat down are those two power poles. Look at that. That current's ripping. My other option would have been to bow up to that hill, but as the tide goes out, your boat will be more and more on dry land. With power poles, you can park out in about two foot of water, your boat will stay in place, and you don't have to worry about coming back a couple hours later and your boat be high and dry. Y'all ready to rip tater chips? Oh, no, 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 walk over there to that point. See that little dry spot right there? Walk over and cast under that. No, it's not. Walk right out to the point. Ow! Bill Blue Crab just attacked me. Man. Come on, Redneck. Come on, Redneck. I got you. Come on. Oh, you just had to shake right in the camera. <laughs> High five, Redneck. High five. High five. Yeah, right there. Are you really bringing that home with us? People will step on this, so we need to take it. That is a good point. Just imagine how many people have got on that. Cut, cut by glass? Yeah. Terrible. They may have lost a toe one day. I'm telling you. As soon as I turned the GoPro off to get Luke in the boat, he just caught his first barracuda ever on a fly rod. Keep your reel out of the water. We're taking him home for dinner. Hold this. Reel up some of that slack, please. Hold him up so I can see him. Dunk him in the water. Get some of that blood off. There you go. Nice fish, Jake. Yeah, we're going to need the punch for this one. You don't swallow it a little bit. I kind of just... <laughs> I was just about to pull it out, too. That's my first ever saltwater. Look at Redneck. <laughs> Redneck's like, bro, hook me up. That's my first saltwater fish on the fly rod. Awesome job. I gotta go get redneck.
Hang on to him tight, both hands, and I'll push you back to the, the boat. Get ready, put him in the boat. Come here. Yeah. Hold on to that rope and catch your breath real quick. That's how you do it. Quit grabbing their antennas, grab their body. That's what I was trying to do. No, you weren't, you were grabbing their antennas. in there, isn't he? Jake, throw me that blue lobster bag in the front hatch, please.
you go down there and stick your head in that hole and catch one for me. There you go. Alright, I want to see you go. Go in there and stick your whole arm under there. for the keepers before you start attacking them. Go get one though. Where's your mask at? Right here, Keep it on. Go get in the boat and put it on. Oh, he saw you coming. <laughs>
He shot out? That was a good job! You saved the day! Both y'all did a good job. Good job Luke. Luke, that was awesome. You oh, had him, son. I was gonna grab him by the tendon and then grab him by the. Bike. I know those gloves are a little bit too big, but you did a great job. Oh. I thought you were gonna bear hug him up with you. Here you go, Jake. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Right <laughs> Alright, Luke, get in. Ooh. Show everybody how you can get the boat. Use them flippers. There we go. <laughs> Ain't no need for a dive ladder. Whew. You teach your kids to be tough, and you won't have to babysit them so much. Yep. Look at that. 24. That's the number we were after. I think I'm still recording. Am I yeah. recording you recording me? <laughs> yes. So Kelly didn't know what to expect. She had never dove down here for many. Everybody gets up early and acts crazy. And you literally, if you just come out here and take your time, it's that easy. It took us what, an hour? Yeah. Hour and we only hit three coral heads. It took us an hour and we were taking our time. So. We will see y'all back at the dock. As you can clearly see, it's blowing about 30 miles an hour. It's nasty. And we're done. We'll see y'all back at the grill. And just like that, we're back, folks at home. Now, we weren't finished when we stopped filming. Our buddy Jared right here behind us, we just met him yesterday. He asked us if we'd help him. Well, I didn't realize he had like 34 kids with him. <laughs> we caught a bunch, but we couldn't limit both boats out. All I did was cool them down on ice. That's probably the easiest way to actually kill a lobster is just cooling down some. You can use fresh water, but you don't want him to stay in ice water for too long. Snap his antenna. So his head. Now I have been so tired after lobstering all day that I've actually accidentally thrown the tail. There's this poop vein right there. What was your name again? Tony. So Tony's a chiropractor from up north somewhere. St. Petersburg. St. Pe Pete. Pete. He got put in the water with the wrong person today. Oh, that yeah. was me. <laughs> he learned though. I think I actually got footage of you catching one today too. Nice. We're going to do this pretty easy tonight. We got a bunch of people. We're going to make like some appetizers. Now, sometimes their meat like this one probably won't. I might leave that one for grilling. I'm going to get one more. So after five tries, we finally got one that's willing to work with us. Typically, that's how it should go down. He's about to molt. Yeah, now this lobster was just getting ready to molt. All the rest of them just got done molting, and that's why it was so hard. See how I just skint that off? And you don't have to do this. A lot of people won't, but I don't like it. It's like the bloodline in a fish. Just tastes a little bit stronger than the rest. It's kind of tough too. Yeah. Well, this is a little extreme. Like this dude would have molted in a day or two. I tell you one thing about Jake and Luke, they haven't stopped fishing in five days off these docks. And down here in the Keys this year, the weather's just been terrible. So typically these canals would be slapped full of big snapper and tarpon, but nobody's been catching dolphin. That's why they're here. They come to everybody cleaning the fish. And literally nobody's been fishing, so they just haven't been here. But they've been hanging with it. Alright. I'm going to cut it up in cubes. What you got, Lou? You had something? 
as soon as like you threw the bait in, like. So here's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna take a piece of bacon with a big blowfly flying by. We're gonna roll it up. But you don't want to roll it up like four times. You really only want it once because the lobster will end up cooking really quick. So I'm just gonna wrap it up one time. Like one layer of bacon? Yeah, one layer. We're gonna taste a piece, take a piece of pineapple and repeat until we have an entire kebab done. Keeping it super simple. I just lightly dusted it with some Lowry's garlic salt. We're gonna add butter later. We don't need to put the butter on now. And I have a sauce that I'm gonna put on top of these right before they're done. We're cooking a huge meal, but for you guys, we're just gonna grill a couple lobster tails and make one kebab. Because if I do it for everybody, I'm gonna be here till like midnight trying to film it all. You guys tell me, that's not a good looking grill right now. No. That's a little bit of surf and turf. We got some wieners, some hamburgers, a kebab, and a whole bunch of lobsters. And these on top are actually done. There's so many different ways and techniques to cook in lobster that if you are bored with the way you've been eating it, just cook it a different way. It's that easy. You don't have to do nothing fancy. But if, yeah, unless this dog here, you guys, I don't know. It's part buzzard, part golden retriever. That's Finley. For those of y'all that don't know, that's Kelly's dog, Finley. What's he wasn't bothering me. He's just licking a oh, hot grill. Oh, he was going to grab that stick of butter. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know Finley. All right, come here and let's show this little. I was going to make a bunch of these, but unbeknownst to me, all these lobsters just got done molding and I couldn't pull their meat without boiling, boiling them. I didn't want to go through all of that right now. So we're going to let Tracy and our new friends taste it first. You said you didn't like lobster? No, I do. I uh, can't eat so bacon. Well. Oh, she can't eat bacon. You can eat bacon. Yeah, oh yeah. This is my newbie. <laughs> Derek can eat bacon. Yeah, we'll eat it. It's hot though, real quick. Yeah. We better cut the clip. Yeah, we'll cut it. I gotta give this grill one more shout out. Look at all this food. Hot dogs, a beautiful kebab, a whole bunch of lobster tails, and we're gonna cook even more. But I can tell you one thing that's a fact. I would not I wanted to be a lobster this morning in the Keys. Driving out, she's like, Kelly goes, where are all these people going? I said, all to the same spots. This sauce right here is about as good as it gets. Come on, where all Let's the buzzards? See what we got, man. Where all the buzzards get here? Where's Jared? Come on, quick! Is it eatable or is it too hot? Here, babe. No, this, perfect. Get that little morsel. Wow. Back. This one. Ooh, that's hot. No, it's not bad. Oh, Two of my favorite things, lobster and bacon. And pineapple. I love pineapple on pizza too. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Right there. That one? Rubbing that sauce. Right, we're gonna do it. That's fit to eat or what? Yes, sir. That's excellent. Did you try a piece, babe? Oh, she's still chewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, he come over here and put it out. Here we go. Get you hot, buddy. Take a bite of that. Don't get real deep in it. Yeah. All right, try that. Not good? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at the kids over there. That's about a $700,000 boat, and all the kids are standing on the top of it like it's a tent. Like just jumping on, like a trampoline is what I meant. Only in the keys. Right now, though, this video is ending. Be on the lookout for Kelly Young's channel, Kelly Young, because she's going to do tomorrow's video. And it'll be the same thing, yet totally different. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new friends. Cheers. Thanks for having us over here tonight. No I got barbecue sauce all the way. I don't worry about it. Good. Miss Tracy and all the, I don't even come it's close to knowing all these to kids' about. names. Kids. You know, too many to worry about. What's your name? Ryan. That's Ryan. Oh, hey. Ryan. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But right now, like Jake always says, I don't even know where he's at. He's not even over here. He's on the boat. Oh well, it's time to get the heck out of shape. See y'all.